It's great to be back on the trail. I'm not positive my shin is perfect, but as long as I keep stretching, I think it'll be okay. Hello from the Tahoe Rim Trail. Just starting out. Let's see how this one goes. Last night I got to the trailhead around 2 a.m. So it was a late night and I got a late start. But I'm moving now. I was hiking around 9.30 or so. And I think I can still get a full day. It just means minimum breaks uh, until evening. And then I'm going to be all caught up. I've had mostly uphill today. My pack is heavy. I've got four days of food, about two liters of water, and I feel it. Renee just did 14 days of food, at times four liters of water, and she made it all the way across Oregon. I can't imagine. Good job, Renee. There we go. About to see Lake Tahoe and the rest. Whoo! Not bad at all. Hello from the Tahoe Rim Trail High Point. Oh, foolishly I started 15 miles back and just came straight up to this point. But it's beautiful. Heck of a climb, but it's beautiful. Huh, 155 miles to go, but, but I'm digging it. The trail I'm on right now is easy walking. This is kind of nice. Like, it's just wide, flat. It's just the break my legs needed at 6.30 with 23 or 24 miles so far. Day two on the Tahoe Rim Trail. Huh. It's beautiful. It's a great temperature. Pumped to be out here. That's for shizzle. Uh, yeah, just hiking along. Gonna do about 27 miles today and just getting started. So I'll let you know how it goes. When you're on a hike, you can't believe anything other hikers tell you. Example one, I was stopped filling up water at a spring and these nice two ladies came by and chatted. And they said, oh, you don't have to fill up too much. There's water just a mile and a half down the road. So we're down the trail. So fortunately I didn't know why there would magically be water on my map that didn't appear to be on the map and I filled up all the way. And sure enough, there was no more water for at least 10 miles. I think they may have been on a different trail. But they were friendly, they tried to be helpful. No fault to them, but you know, trust your medics. Broccoli. Mm. Day three, it's 8.02 and I'm off. Let's do this. I made it to a green part of the trail. Aspen and trees. I think this might break my 
dry stretch. Try to have water coming up soon. I'm tired, but I'm coming up on a lake. It's been a big climb. Now we're gonna do some swimming. having my favorite restaurant for lunch, Taco Bell. I'm actually a little cold now. I think that lake cooled me down. It's getting late and I'm still hiking. My legs are tired, but it's actually a pretty nice time of day to hike. The sun's not intense. Things a little quieter, the winds died down, and hear more birds. I like it. Anyway, let's eat something. Sunset soon, so I'll probably head to my camp wherever I see my spot in not too long. Have a good evening. Seven thirty, and I'm on the trail. My earliest day yet. Got something exciting coming up. Renee decided to come up and meet me. So in four miles, I get to a parking lot where I get to see Renee. Fun. Hello. Hello. Over the course of today, my lower shin has started hurting quite a bit, so I gotta slow down my miles or something. Good morning from day four. Little update, I've managed to injure my shin. It's hurting quite a bit. So the plan is to take a few days off and come back and finish the final 70 miles of this trail um, in a week or so. And that feels like the safe move. Last thing I need is for this little injury to turn into a serious one. So that's the difficulty of through hiking is sometimes whether it's injury or fire or whatever, uh, sometimes miles per day is out of your control. But it'll be nice to be back up here in a little while and get to spread out the trail over more than one trip. Made it to the road. Now we're gonna hitchhike back to the car and I'm gonna take a few days off. It's great to be back on the trail. I'm not positive my shin is perfect, but as long as I keep stretching, I think it'll be okay.
I've spent months camping in the Sierras. I think this is the first time I'm getting rained on up here. Everybody talks about it, the Sierra storms. I've always thought they were a myth, but turns out no. Just getting to Aloha Lake. This is a very popular spot in Desolation Wilderness for a reason. It is gorgeous. Cool. So I've been working my way through Desolation Wilderness. I have two thoughts. Number one, it's beautiful. Rocks everywhere, lakes everywhere. But it's really hard to beat the scenery here, but it's crowded. I like people. I like saying hi to people. So crowded isn't necessarily a bad thing, but so far on the TRT, it's probably got about 100 times the density of people of the other stretches and uh, yeah if you're looking for solitude the desolation stretch is definitely not where you'll find it. I hit the trail before seven today, which is my earliest day yet. Good thing this isn't a long through hike because on those, I like to start a fair amount earlier, but for this trail, it's working. My muscles were so sore last night, it was hard sleeping, so late start didn't exactly correspond to good sleep, but I'll be all right. I just bumped into a volunteer maintaining the trail and he gave me a homemade granola bar. This thing is good. <laughs> Goodbye PCT. It's hard to do one hand. They say there's bears on the Tahoe Rim Trail, but I haven't seen a single one in 140 miles so far. 140 miles, no bears. I think what's going on is they're all down in the campgrounds rummaging through people's trash. Saw bears in Tahoe campgrounds earlier this year. It's almost a guaranteed sighting in a campground. Up here, there's not as much garbage, not as many donuts, and therefore not as many bears. Pasta salad time.
I'm at 26 miles and I'm feeling tired, but I want to get a few more miles in before I call it a day. My last night on the trail, and this is my campsite. Not bad at all. Here comes the view. That's about to be sunset. I'll take it. Good morning. I'm back on the trail a little before eight. That was a great campsite. I slept well. Oh, I had sunrise. I had two coffees during sunrise. And now I'm moving. And uh, I've got 12 miles to go back to the finish. And it's been wonderful. I could hike the TRT again and again. I met one guy out here. His trail name is Looper. And he's hiked all the long trails and now he just does loops of the Tahoe Rim Trail. He said he's trying to do 10 loops this year. That's 1,750 miles around the Tahoe Rim Trail. I don't know if, if that's what I would do, but, uh, but kind of cool. It goes to show that this is a great trail. He said he likes the simplicity. He just likes to be out walking and he's got his resupply stops figured out so he can just walk and walk and walk. Well, these are gonna be my last views of Lake Tahoe. The car's just ahead and around the corner. This has been a wonderful trip. Um, little review there's some dry stretches but they're not too bad as long as you plan for them for me that just meant filling up my water filling up more water uh, than usual i think if, if i were doing fewer miles per day they could have been a little bit more challenging um, because you use extra water while camping uh, however it's not terrible i think the longest stretch was 12 or 13 miles between water sources uh, yeah, it's just been all around great. Great views of Lake Tahoe. The east side of the lake was my favorite. It was a little bit more dry, but also gorgeous. And I'm just descending to a road now. And if all goes well, my car's down there.